Body sailing to me is hard to define and put into a box because it's not a sport, it's not art, it's what I would call a lifestyle. That's how, that's how I view it. The first person I ever saw do it was a local, uh, Jim Mitchell, and basically he wasn't putting it out there. Uh, it's something like I just caught like I'd be at a party and uh, I'd, I'd see him sail by. Like he would do it for fun, you'd get a couple of drinks in that guy and he would just do it. But he didn't know that he was defining a sport at the time. To him it was natural so he could barely even explain it, but eventually he was able to kind of break down the basics of how it works. Jim broke it down where you had to go fast in order to be able to sail. Of course there was no like defined fast to him, it was all the same, but to us, uh, we timed it, we've clocked it, and it's a 9.76 feet per second. If you can achieve that speed, you're sailing. I started trying different things. The first thing that worked for me was to cut wind resistance. Uh, I would involve my hands, and I would make them as straight as I possibly could and as stiff as I could, and I would just slice. You could, uh, you could actually like cut the wind resistance enough and achieve that speed in like maybe three quarters of the time that it took without the hands. So that was a big breakthrough. So we picked up a few things from other sports. Uh, one was the tighter, the tighter the fit on your clothing and the spandex would actually cut wind resistance greatly and that made a big difference. And then you can take it a step further, uh, take your hair out of the equation and you're gonna be reaching a higher velocity faster. In the early days of sailing, everyone, I mean, I took so many spills, it's hard to even count. So you would get up and you would sail for like eight inches maybe, and then you'd hit the ground so hard. And I've got this finger, like I don't know if you can get up close to that thing, but that doesn't go straight. Um, I've got cuts and bruises all over my body from the early days. I'm getting better, but I still maybe you know, 50% of the time I can do it, 50% I'm on the ground. I see body sailing just basically opening up all different avenues. Kids are really getting into it because to them it represents freedom. I like to think of myself as a soul sailor. I'm not in it for a cash reward. I'm not in it for advertisements or sponsorship. Uh, to me, it's the freest thing you can do in the world and the most creative thing that you can do in the world and I think everybody's responding to that and it's growing. My name is Joel Judiger and I'm a body sailor. <laughs>